want to show you today how you can quickly create some graph data for Neo4j using the arrows tool which has been uh, created by Alistair Jones, a colleague of mine. So you go just uh, to APC Jones uh, slash arrows uh, and uh, start this little web, web app. And uh, so you see already our first node here. Uh, we can just uh, select a node, double click it and give it a label user and then a proper set of properties, for instance, uh, name of this user is Mark. So we have our user Mark here and this user posted a tweet. So we uh, pull out of the halo of the node a, uh, another node and this tweet has an ID and it has a text which is called uh, Hello World. And if we save this, then we see the uh, attributes here as well. And we can also change the style to, to something that's more compact, uh, the bootstrap style. Uh, so you can see uh, it's like this. Sometimes you have to do the truth style twice. Uh, so this relationship is called uh, posted. So we just set the relationship name here. And we could also reverse it or delete it or set properties, which we don't want to do here now. And uh, so, of course, um, uh, this user, for instance, follows another user, so we can kind of call the second user uh, name, let's say, Andreas. And of course, uh, this is a uh, follows or followed relationship. And um, so this second user also tweeted something. Uh, so let's see, he also tweeted a uh, tweet ID something and text is welcome and so we see this tweet here and uh, this tweet here is a reply uh, to this tweet so you see we pull out the relationship here and if we send it over the node then it becomes a relationship that connects the two nodes and um, this is a uh, reply Right. and this user posted this relation, uh, this, this uh, tweet. And then of course you can also pull out of the halo here something, for instance we say here's a uh, tag node that has a name of, uh, uh, I don't know, fun. And um, so this is our little graph. We can uh, zoom this uh, thing a little bit make the relationship denser or uh, further apart. Uh, we can export this graph as markup, so this is something that we can store somewhere. And as it also store, uh, stores the positions, you can always recreate that by, I just show you if you cut this out here, and I do save, uh, then all my graph is gone. But if I click export markup again and paste my uh, thing in again, then my uh, Twitter graph, little Twitter graph, is comes back. So that's a really nice way. You can also hit uh, export SVG, which is then an usual uh, selectable SVG, and it's encoded as base64. You can also do uh, PNGs, uh, which you just screen grab, of course. And you can also export this as Cypher. So you see it creates a uh, create statement, just user, tweet, another user, another tweet, a tag, and all our relationships. And if I grab this create statement and paste it into a Neo4j sandbox that I just created uh, on neo4j.com slash sandbox v2. I created a blank and empty sandbox and we can just go open the browser here and uh, paste our create statement. And if you create, uh, paste our create statement and run, uh, so you see all the tweets, uh, all the labels, all the relationship types, and if I just pull the whole graph, uh, then, if I pull the whole graph, then I see exactly my little uh, Twitter graph that I just created. We change the Twitter text here to uh, the text, then it's welcome and hello world. And uh, the last thing that I want to show you is that you can also open it in the Neo4j console which also creates your little Twitter graph so that you can use then for uh, to quickly share that with someone else by clicking the share link here and you generate a share link. And if I take this share link and paste it in a new browser tab, 
then it also recreates my uh, Twitter graph. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time.